actually going to start um, seated facing towards the front. Bend at your knees. Keep your feet just a little bit farther from your bottom than what maybe is normal, right? So it's not going to be tight today. Let's try to squeeze our legs together. Take your inhale. Let's come back to the rock. And inhale, pull. Last three. Almost there. Last two. And last one. And all the way back up. Take a little lift at your top. And exhale, slowly start to pour yourself all the way back. Nice and long. Keep it active. Walk your feet towards your bottom. Widen your collarbones. Relax those shoulders back and down. Let's rock through our hips just a little bit. I'm going to rock right to left. So what I'm actually trying to do is drop my right hip back and like float my left hip up off the mat and then switch and drop my left hip down and again find that space underneath my right hip. I'm careful not to fan my knees out. They aren't rocking. They're actually still parallel and I'm pushing them away, away from each other like sliding glass doors or at least in this exercise. I actually always picture like a piston, like a choo-choo train, the gears that turn the wheels, right? So picture your thighs are kind of like those straight bars and your pelvis is that wheel that you're circling. Last one, kind of just settle that, maybe start to make it a little bit smaller and release, woo, mm -hmm. let the hips go. Pushing into your feet, let's find our hamstrings. So I just want a little bit of awareness, push down, and that's it, right? So what I want you to focus on is that you're careful not to push down into your low back. It's not a pelvis movement. Try to find your hamstrings. So feel like your feet are going to push down into the mat underneath you, and then soften. Push down into the mat underneath you, and soften, right? A little awareness of legs today. So when we start to move into our bridge, I want you to think, how are your hamstrings working? Not your shoulders, not your neck, right? Yes, the abs, but also those hamstrings. And so last one, push down into the mat and hold. And everybody check in real quick, feel for your big toes, big toe metatarsals, and the inside of your heel plate, right? Careful that you don't start to roll out to the pinky side of your feet, but you're through center parallel. Keep pushing down through your feet. Let's move for a pelvic curl. Turn the wheel of your pelvis, hold, and then release. You haven't let go of your hamstrings. We're just rocking the boat again. And release. You're still pushing down, and I'm gonna actually with my hands, feel for my hamstrings. They are still very active. Pushing down. They feel flexed underneath my fingers. Last two. Now curl the wheel of your pelvis and hold. And visualize that this scoop you're gonna maintain the whole time. So we're not actually gonna let go of this scoop. Pushing through your feet, Start to lift through your hips. The scoop doesn't change position. You're now suddenly up into your shoulder bridge. And lay your spine back down. No, your scoop does not change position. It's still active. Feel for that 12th rib and then press back up. So we're kind of breaking it down just a little bit, finding those parts, those little pieces that I want you to try to hold and maintain. So we're thinking of articulation really through our ribs and our spine here. We're scooping the wheel of the pelvis, we're holding on to it. Try not to let it go, it's still scooped even as you start to lower, I'm just barely tapping. I feel for that 12th rib down onto the mat and then I lift straight back up. I'm careful not to release the wheel of my pelvis. I'm pushing down through my feet and I'm going to feel those hamstrings are still working and soften. Let's do twice more. Lifting up, try to roll those shoulders back and down. Push down into the back of your arms just a little bit. Last one. And release it all the way back down to the very beginning. Whew, when you let go of your pelvis and your hamstrings. All right. So let's add on just a little bit, right? We found the rock between our left and our right hip. Now we're going to combine that with our bridge. So from here, I'm going to roll to my left just a little bit so that my left hip feels heavy and my right leg is long. Push through my feet, pull through the wheel of your pelvis, start to stack up along the left side of your spine. Reconnect with your center, 
and then start to lay yourself down on the right side of your spine. Try to think that your right hip is heavy, and that's going to touch the mat first, and then you're going to roll through your neutral over to the left. Let's keep going in this direction. Lifting up the left, lowering down to the right. Now careful that your knees don't start to windshield wiper. They're actually parallel the whole time, right? They don't rock right to left. Your hips dip, dip and sway. It's like a really slow salsa dance. <laughs> Up. Let's do that once more, rolling down to the right. Good. Over to the left, lifting all the way back up. Let's reconnect with our center at the top and then lay your spine down through center. Almost like we're like finding that equilibrium. Find the balance between the right and the left, release. Whew. Now roll to the right and start to pick up on the right side, reconnect with your center at the top and lay down on the left side. So when I start to lay down on my left side, I actually have to work just a little harder to keep my left leg from fanning out. So let's everybody scan your body again. Reconnect with your big toe, big toe metatarsal, inside of the heel plate, right? Visualize the space between your thighs. Remember we were squeezing it earlier? I want you to find that space again and hold on to it. Hug it close. Feel like your legs are squeezing towards each other. Last one, lifting up through center. Reconnect to your top and lay your spine all the way down. Let it go. Keep widening your collarbones. Keep stretching, 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 and release. Whew. Let's roll to the right. My right hand is going to lengthen out in front of me. My left arm is going to lay on top. We'll stretch our spine just a little bit with our pin wheel. So reach through your left arm, lengthening it away from you. Draw a big rainbow up over your head. And I actually want you to think your fingertips are stretching away from your left hip. See if you can lay your shoulders spread wide first, then bring your waist, your hips, your knees, and then telescope your right arm over your chest, over your left arm, and lengthen that back out. Big circle, up and over. Try to stretch through your right ribs, right waist, right hip. Spiral that right shoulder back and down. Try to lay your shoulders down. Here's that rotation again. And then pull back up. Last one each. Telescope the arm back over to the right, lengthening through the right. Start to circle up and over. And check out where are your shoulders? Where is that rotation? We were talking about it at the beginning of class, and now we're going to find it again, right? Telescope that right arm over the left, reach through center, up and over. Open those arms out to a T and bring your legs back up through center. Hold. Option here, keep your arms out to your T. This is a challenging base of support or bring them along beside you if you're more comfortable with that. I'm going to leave my arms out, palms face up. So I'm not gripping anything with my fingers, right? So I'm trying to keep those shoulders quiet. Find your neutral pelvis. Start to move through your marches and just see what that feels like. Especially if you have a slightly different base of support here. Having those arms out might start to feel just a little different. Let's see where that's at. What I want you to focus on, and I'm I actually just starting to lose it a little bit, is that 12th rib. Can you think that you're going to pull the front of your rib cage down to stay anchored through the back of your ribs? as we move into this abdominal series. When you're ready, float that right leg up, hold. Bring the left leg to meet it. Now move through your toe taps. And focus on the eye of your hip crease opening. For me, I'm thinking of anchoring the front of my ribs down, right? Sometimes we lay our left hand on that rib cage. You could check in with yourself and see, are they pulled down? Is that still flat? Or are they starting to pop up towards the ceiling? Which to, which to me says you're doing this from your low back, right? Not from your abdominal wall. So I want you to really try to connect with your abs. If you're up for it, float your fingertips up towards the ceiling. See how that feels. Ooh, it's like a dead bug position, right? If you're up for it, as you drop your right leg, reach your left arm. And then lift. And reach. And lift. So now it's even harder to keep those ribs down because you're lifting your arm up overhead. 
but I want you to focus on the trunk. Weight of your head, spread of your shoulders, all the way down to that floating 12th rib, and the spread of your pelvis. Careful not to bring this into your low back. Let's do four. Three. Last two. And last one. Arms stay up overhead. Place your feet down. Finding them sit bone distance apart. Let's reach our arms up and back and take a big stretch. Whew. We're going to move into our seesaw. So we're going to now find a full range of motion incorporating our arms with our bridge and our forward fold. Here's your inhale. Exhale, start to curl the wheel of your pelvis and start to lift by pushing down into the feet and articulating through your spine. We just did this, right? So think again like you're standing into the back of your legs and the spread of your shoulders. Now like someone's grabbed your hand, really feel like your fingertips are reaching one direction as you start to lay your spine down. And I always visualize like I'm spreading butter on toast. Right? You don't want it to melt in one spot. You want to lengthen it out across the piece of toast. So stretch your body long. Start to lift head, neck, chest curling up, finding your seesaw reach forward. And then slowly start to pour yourself back down. Now your legs are the anchor before your shoulders were, right? Slowly they'll start to bend, sit bone distance apart, and you'll start to curl. Push down into your feet and lift up. And exhale, lower. I'm deliberately moving slow here because I want to feel each articulation. And I'm also very careful not to let my right ribs lead over my left. But really feel both sides of my body working. And then stacking it. And lower. Let's do one more like that. Pushing down, lifting up. Stretching, and exhale, laying your spine down. Visualize that your collarbones are wide and the pinky fingers are reaching towards the far side of the room. And lift up and reach through the legs. Woo, here's your roll up. Pull your waist in and up. Stretch forward over your quads. Big inhale. Now exhale, stack your spine up through neutral. Now lift the fingertips up. Stay lifted in the upper body and start to curl the pelvis. Ooh, and squeeze those thighs. Squeeze those thighs. Ooh, squeeze those thighs all the way down. That's a little bit harder. But I definitely felt my right side leading over my left. So I'm going to try to curl myself up right and left, working equally hard. I'm working my way off the mat, so I'm going to work forward just a little bit. Stretch forward over those toes, hold. Stack it back up, one vertebra at a time. Lift up through the upper body. Here's your extension. Now find your flexion. One vertebra at a time. And I'm going to work very hard not to let my right side lead. That was a little better, but I found a cacum, cacum. So last time's the charm. Lifting, melting, reach. Feel right and left. Stretch through those legs. Pulling it up with control. Lift your waist, lift your waist, lift your waist up and over. Fold, inhale. Exhale as you lift, stack it up. Reach to the fingertips. Now curl the pelvis and pull your left waist in. Can you squeeze your thighs together? That might help slow down your roll down. Whew, that's harder to find that middle part of my back. Lifting up, lay your spine down. We're gonna pick ourselves all the way up one last time. Strong straight legs start to reach as we lift through the head, neck, chest, curling ourselves all the way up. Big stretch forward over your quads. Stretch. And exhale each time. Feel like you're going to lift your stomach off of your quads and really arch your low back. Right? Not just your neck, not just your shoulders. Last one. Exhale, lift your waist. Slowly let go of your ankles. Start to press yourself all the way back up. Grow tall towards the ceiling. I'm still lifting. I'm still lifting all the way. 